hello this is cyberlink fx with another video in this video i'm going to show you how to do very advanced multi flashes on power director once again this is a pretty advanced tutorial i would suggest this is probably not for beginners this is for more i don't know sort of advanced it's not extremely advanced but it is pretty hard so let's get started now first tools what are you going to need uh you're going to need power director obviously and then you're going to need a video of a guy shooting your gun easy you need a picture of a multi flash that's also very easy you can get one off google images or any other picture website you need some gun smoke if you do not know how or where to get gun smoke uh, the good place to get it is detonation films it's a very uh, good website that has some free stock footage of smoke and click on this link right here for a video that will show you how to make a green screen so once you've gotten that taken care of you can go and go this is a great website called sound bible lots of free sound effects and you can, you know, any website will work, but Sound Bible is one of the better ones. Any uh, uh, gun sound effects will work for this video. You need one of those. You're going to need a video of a uh, shell falling, a video of a shell falling. This is one of the harder ones, but it is one of my videos. Just click on it and download it. And uh, uh, then you're going to need a sound effect of a shell falling. So once you've got all this stuff, you're going to, let's see, how many video tracks? Uh, Okay, you're going to need four video tracks, so make sure you have four video tracks before you start. So once you have those, you take your uh, video of you shooting a gun and stick it on the top video track. Okay, so I found the frame where I shoot the gun, and after you've done that, you're going to take your muzzle flash, and you're going to put it on the third video track, and you are going to go one frame forward, and you're going to split, and you can delete all this extra muzzle flash. So all there is is one tiny frame of a muscle flash left. Now you're going to press modify and open that up in the PIP designer. Okay, then you're going to select it. You're going to press apply chroma key and you're going to select whatever color you want to apply out. In this case, it's green. I'm going to turn up the intensity level. So all that's left is the flash. Let's see. Okay, that's probably good and now you're going to make it fit so it's right at the end of your gun now everyone likes muzzle flashes different sizes uh it, this is basically it could be any way you want that's the size i'm going to have mine so once you've placed that you can press ok and next we are going to add a sound effect for that right now so i'm going to take my gun sound effect and stick it on any auto track you really want i'm going to stick it on uh, this one right here and I'm gonna make it line up okay so it lines up pretty good so now you have that now you're gonna take your smoke and you're gonna put it on the second video track and you can find the very uh, spot where that starts right there and you can delete the green spot and you're gonna open that up in PIP design Once you've opened that up, you're going to want to chroma key the green out. So you're going to press apply chroma key and you're going to select the green. And you're going to fit it to your liking. And normally what makes it look a little bit more realistic is to go into opacity and make it slightly transparent. Then make it look a little bit more realistic. Now you can uh, make it fit your gun. You can make it smaller, bigger, however you like it. And stick it right here right at right on your multi flash if it's okay and once you get back on the pip designer you'll notice that it's behind the multi flash you can't see it that'll help with the realistic effect so once you've got your smoke in here's something else you can do you're gonna go into the very frame where your smoke and your flash start you can press split on your actual video you're gonna go two frames ahead two one two you're gonna split one more time you're going to take this little two frame bit right here and you're going to go into fix enhance now what you're going to do with this you're going to make it brighter so it looks like the brightness of the flash is sort of lighting up the whole room and you're going to extreme backlight it's the easiest way to do it you just check that off and basically once it basically it just lights up the whole place so that's that there's a uh, one more thing that's sort of optional with this now you have your smoke, you have your flash, but what about the shell? This is the hard part that's 
pretty much optional. You don't need it, but I like it to add more effect, more uh, of a realistic effect to it. So you're going to take your video of a shell. Once again, it's on my channel. Just downloading it using the website in the description. You're going to go into Modify. And... My computer's being slow, so... In my case, wait for it to open. Okay, here we go. You're going to go into chroma key, you're going to chroma key away of all of this green, and you're going to turn it up to the way you like it. Um, that's probably good. And you're going to place it right on the gun, so it looks like it's falling out of the gun. Because, you know, real guns, when they shoot, they release an empty shell. So, once you have that, press OK. And after that, you are basically done. Now, you have your effect. Once it's drawn together, it's going to look really cool. I'm going to show you at the end of the video the way mine turned out. It's going to look really awesome. I can guarantee that. Another thing that's optional is a sound effect of a shell hitting the ground. It just adds a little bit more of a realisticness to your video, if that's it in the word. But if you want that, you can just stick it right here. You can just press overwrite, and that's really simple. So that's basically it. It's really cool, and it's pretty easy. It's a very good alternative to getting an expensive program like After Effects to have realistic muzzle flashes. So basically, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. Keep posted for more really cool tutorials. Once again, this is CyberlinkFX. Goodbye.